At number two, a player who played 674 times for Rangers. He scored 77 goals as well. Three League Championships, five Scottish Cup, five League Cup, one European Cup, one Oscar Cup. It could only be Sandy Jordan. Side forward, Smith. Jardim. That's all by Jardim. It's a goal for Rangers. At five minutes to half time, that makes it Rangers one, Celtic nil. Personally, for me, I think that it's one of the, the greatest honours I've ever achieved. I've been very fortunate to win the Scottish Player of the Year twice, uh, but I think when you get voted by 50,000 supporters, it really struck home to me when I seen the, the people that were coming into the room. You know, you had Willie Woodburn, you had uh, Jock Shaw, you had uh, Bob McPhail, Jimmy Muller, Ralphie Brand, uh, Jim Baxter, all these sort of players. And, uh, just to be in the, the company these players and then be selected for the, the greatest team is uh, something I'm really, really proud of. Sandy's selection was an obvious choice. Only John Gregg had made more appearances for the club. A brilliant fullback, he represented his country 38 times and in two World Cups. Although primarily a defender, he was also able to play sweeper, providing chances for his forwards. Stemming from Jordan. Jordan held off the challenge of Caldwell. And there, when the cross came over, was Johnston swooping onto that one to give Allen no chance. Sandy was part of the teams which won trebles in 76 and 78. His cultured and dependable style of play allowed Rangers to attack with confidence. However, he could also score on his own. day in 1967 when he scored in his old firm debut Sandy Jardin stood for the traditions and the heritage of Rangers endearing him to the fans and earning the respect of his fellow players he is deservedly recognized as a great Ranger inside forward Smith Jardin Five minutes to half time, that makes it Rangers 1, Celtic nil.